I'm Barbara and I'm here to talk to you about brainstorming and what to do with those ideas when your department or group generates them. You'll want a way to categorize them by how much they will add value to what you're trying to improve and how easy or hard it is to actually make the idea happen. A good tool for this is called the PIC chart. PIC stands for possible, implement, consider, and kill. And what it does is you take a piece of post-it paper, a uh, large poster paper, you make it into a quadrant. You've got on your vertical axis the impact on what you're trying to improve, your key process indicators, your efficiency, so either low or high. And then you've also have the difficulty of implementation, low or high. So you will need some Sharpies and some post-it notes for your group you'll want to give them a little time to actually write their ideas on the post-it note. Don't let them discuss them before they write them. This will help generate more ideas and avoid the pitfall of trying to debate a certain idea before you've even looked at everything and how, um, how easy or hard the idea is to implement and help you reach your department or group goals. So when your group has generated their ideas, they can hand their post-its to you and you would ask the group, okay, idea A, when we think about the impact on what we're trying to fix or improve, is it low or high? Okay, let's say that it's, we agree it's generally low. All right, is it easy to do or hard? How hard is it to put into practice or can we just do it? Easy, okay. We put that in the possible quadrant of our pick chart. Somebody else hands up an idea. All right, let's do it again. Is it uh, impactful, low impact or high impact? This time maybe it's got a high impact and it is relatively easy to put in place. That goes into the implement quadrant. Next, let's do another idea. Low or high, maybe the group agrees it's high. Go with the general consensus. This is not a 100%, just go with the general consensus. And then easy or hard? Well, this seems to be hard. Put it here. We'll consider it. And we put it in the consider quadrant because it may need some additional money, time, help, resources that we may have to go investigate and see what we can do. Then the last idea, okay. Hard to do, low impact on what we're trying to improve. That's in the kill zone. All ideas are worth considering. But when you look at this in the kill zone, it's not worth the difficulty of trying to implement for the low amount of return you're going to get. Okay, so to review, a pick chart, a tool using, used to categorize brainstorming ideas. Uh, if it has low impact on what you're trying to improve, your key process indicators, your metrics, your department goals, and it has um, easy to implement, it goes in the possible section. High impact, easy to implement, do it. Get it done. This is where you want to focus most of your energy and time because this is where you can make the best improvement with the least amount of effort. Something that may be more difficult yet still high impact, consider, do additional work, and after you're able to move these, if you've got nothing else, take a look at this. And then again, if it's very hard to do and it's not going to help you very much, it was worth thinking about but maybe not worth doing. If you have any questions about pick charts or other improvement ideas, you can call me, Barbara Conniff, Client Experience Manager, or find me in Microsoft Outlook, Barbara Conniff, and I'll be happy to help you. Have a good time brainstorming and pick charting. Bye.